All right, guys, what's up? So I finally got the bottle. Garrison Brothers, uh, single barrel, cask strength, baby. I'll keep this uh, super short and sweet, okay? Um, over a bunch of, a couple videos ago, always was intrigued by this bottle. Why? Because just the color of it is crazy. I love deep, dark stuff and the proof is right. I didn't know about the age statement. Later on, as I was buying the bottle, uh, I read that it was only three years old and the price was $180. So I, I, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking, but still give it a chance. Okay. So let me explain myself. Um, uh, party source, the store has a little, uh, every single one of their picks is available for you to taste for a dollar. They give you half an ounce. So I came to the bar and I was always intrigued by it, but I didn't want to pull the trigger because $180, that's a lot for an unknown bottle. And I tried it and had this like, uh, like it was interesting and it had like this dusty funk to it, like a dusty, I mean, as in terms of like a vintage bourbon. So I pulled the trigger and here she is. I own the bottle now. All right. Uh, on the nose. Basically, this, uh, it smells like it tastes. There is like a, like a dark fruit, like molasses, a bunch of leather, a bunch of leather and barrel tannins. All right, cheers. Very unique, very unique. Uh, from my perspective, I like it because it's interesting. It's bold. First thing, you expect that something at this high proof would have a lot of ethanol. Oh, not only is it high proof, but super young, three years old. I mean, it might be a little more than three years old, but that's what the bottle says. So, but it's not. It the All the flavors here mask any kind of like strong ethanol, ethanol or a strong alcohol taste. It's got like a deep, dark fruit, tons and tons and tons of leather. So if you don't like leather, this is not for you. This thing is super polarizing. Not for most people's palate. I'll just be straight up 100%, but I like it. So tons of, I'd say 80% of the taste profile is like barrel tannins. And it kind of makes sense because this is a Texas whiskey. Um, different climate than Kentucky. They have an issue with evaporation. Uh, so I guess it, because it's hot, it matures a lot faster there. Um, so that's how they can get away with putting out just like a three year old product that doesn't taste like three years old. Um, but yeah, almost everything is leather and leather and like, it's not, uh, I think the more the more you sip on this, the more you can start to discern like the like a bit, bit more it come becomes sweet to you. But if you're just first getting into it, it, it would be not sweet at all. It would be like pure like bitter and barrel tannins. But this thing like the more you sip on it, the more it grows on you for 100 percent. A lot of bourbons have a caramel, but this one has like a like a molassesy pancake syrup, a ton and ton of leather, tons of leather. Um, I would say it's got like a like a little dusty funk to it too, like a vintage bourbon, like a little uh, layer of like bookshelf du dusty old cabinet type of taste to it, and a bunch of barrel tannins. So good nose interesting flavor profile uh whatever you can say about it it's definitely bold um unique and if you have a buddy over and you want to show them what type of bourbon what type of flavors bourbon can have um this is a good one to throw in there like i'd say like let's say if you're doing a flight and you're doing like barrel proof elijah craig uh, barrel proof uh 1792 get a little stack junior in there It'd be cool to throw this in there too, because this would not be out of place. It's interesting, high proof, um, 
but unique, unique flavor to it. Um, oh, I would be remiss. I, I definitely got to mention this. So the the thing, uh, what I'm picking up here is also, I keep forgetting about this. It's, it's, it's got, it's like, has a raisin, like a raisin uh, flavor, like a raisin note and earthy, earthy raisin How about that. Yeah. So funny that I mean, like, this is like from Texas called cowboy whiskey, but yeah, it's like in a weird way, it, it, everything like that would symbolize like a cowboy, like definitely tons of leather <laughs> and tons of like wooden oak, very, like very rustic. Um, you, you are struggling to find the sweet notes in here, but they're definitely there. And the more you sip on it, the more like the sweeter it becomes, um, overall, would I recommend this? If you like trying new stuff like I do, um, for the average consumer, this is probably, uh, especially at this proof or like with this amount of barrel tannins, it would not be considered like a like smooth, easy sipper. You know what I mean? But I like it. All right, cheers, guys.